Laravel has really cool classes and methods to deal with databases to make it really simple to deal with it. It's very simple to select data and pull it in whatever way we want from the database. Insert whatever data in a very simple manner. I believe when you get into building databases with Laravel you are going to love the framework. It's time to start learning how to run queries in our application. We will start with writing some SQL queries. This is our route web.php and this is our home controller. Now let's create a route. We call it insert two, three, and four. Edit and read and delete. So these are our four routes insert edit read and delete and we will create these methods here public function insert and then edit read delete so these are our four functions insert edit read and delete save this start terminal and write php artisan make model in models and we will name it country model so now it's created our model there is models and country model now we will here write some function let's suppose insert we will write db connection main and then insert insert into country and what we have we have so many columns here we have this is our learning database and country table code name display name name code phone code created register by modified and modified by so we will say code name display name and num code and phone code phone code and created register by modified and modified by so now values so these are nine columns and then we will say we will do this like data i say name slam code is a b and name is a b c and display name is a b c and num code is zero and phone code is also zero now for uh, created and modified stamps now let's create our date new date time and then i'll say unix time stamp unix time stamp is equals to date get time stamp then copy this variable say this so now we have completed our insert method here and once we trigger this insert it will go to this method and then it will we have to hit this so we will include this country model over here use app models and then country model and then country model we will use in insert dollar country model is equals to new country model and we will say that country model insert method and then echo record inserting 
save this and this and now let's check this we have no record yet copy this and then paste insert now date and time we cannot use this like that we have to use black slash and now insert db not found we didn't included this so we have to include this we will include like this use illuminate support dates and db so insert and now record insert it let's check it here now you can see that the record is inserted are uh, two more methods added and delete i will copy these lines from this function here and we say insert for added and record edited and for read and in read we will say this like we will have values so we say data is equals to read read and then you say um, and data and in delete we will say delete and record deleted save this and in our model let's create more methods public function edit and then we will use db connection main and we say update and say update country set name is equals to what uh, where id is equals to what and we will say that set name to xyz where id is that's it save this now let's check it here copy paste and then edit record edited let's check it here refresh the record is edited now let's create another method for this now uh, we we will say return db connection main and then say select static from country that's it return db main and it says select save this now go to our browser and then we will say read and define variable data data we will say data not date now we have this we have created all the records now let's complete our model for delete we will say public function delete and then db connection for main delete and say delete from country where id is equals to what and we will say the id is 2 save this and then copy it and delete first we will see check this yes we have this record and once we execute the query and we check this so that's the crud create read update and delete